Once again, I have curated an awesome list of apps and without further ado, let's get started. Let's start the list with a pretty useful image editing app, Erase. App has a variety of different editing tools, but the main reason I use this app is to remove the background from images or certain logos. Simply choose an image and wait for the magic to happen. After that, you have several options to choose from. You can make the background a certain color or gradient rather than transparent. You can outline the subject or you can blur the background and resize the image. Then just press save and that's it. It is nice to have a versatile app to remove backgrounds time to time, so I highly recommend Erase if you're searching for such a tool. Maybe some of you remember that Motorola used to have two unique gestures to open the camera and flashlight. Well, meet with Shake It. Shake It basically gives you those two gestures on any Android phone. Simply shake your phone to open your camera or twist your device to open the flashlight. Of course, you can customize these gestures to open the whatever app you want as well. You can easily adjust the sensitivity from the settings or deactivate one of the gestures altogether. A simple and straightforward app for the ones who are searching for these particular gestures. Our next app, a bit of a special one. One of my viewers recently suggested me to test this app and to be honest, I wasn't expecting that much, but boy, I was wrong. Meet with Express Cleaner. Express Cleaner is all-in-one tool to clean and delete certain things from your phone. You can use Quick Clean to get rid of empty folders, thumbnails, install APKs, or large files inside of your downloads and trash folders quickly. The app has its own file manager so that you can see all the relevant data easily such as the total size of your videos, images, audio files, and more. From here, you can quickly see the name, location, and the size of the files and select the ones you want to get rid of. Another useful feature of the app is the app manager. In here, you can see how much space your app are taking on your phone, how many apps there are on your phone, and how many of them are system apps. From here, you can easily see the apps that are taking the most amount of space or the apps that are using the most amount of data and delete them easily. Also, you can see your apps based on your usage patterns such as how many times you open them, how long you use them, and also the unused apps. Last but not the least, my favorite feature, WhatsApp Cleaner. It's always a big headache to clean your WhatsApp images. Sometimes you delete them using your gallery, but they reappear, and WhatsApp's own interface is extremely bad to see all of your files and cleaning them. With Express Cleaner, it is extremely easy to clean though. Everything is laid down in categories and nice interface, so you can see everything clearly and bulk delete those pesky WhatsApp GIFs or documents. The app also has several tools to further help you organize your device such as similar photo finder, duplicate image finder, photo compressor, and many more. The app is also available in the App Store alongside with Google Play Store and it's free to download. And finally, I have some gifts for you. The developer of the app, NG App Studio, was kind enough to give me 10 lifetime promo codes and 20 90 days promo codes for me to share with you. As always, all you have to do is to use the link in the description and fill the form. The first 30 will get the codes. Our next app is pretty cool when you want to pass a little bit of time but also don't want to use a social media app. Meet with Board. Board is an app that will give you short info about some random thing so that you can learn interesting facts about various different topics. The app has a pretty clean and no distraction interface just perfect for what it's aiming to achieve. It also has a type of social section in which you can see what other people think about certain things based on the categories and leave comments under them to initiate talks. To be honest, the first feature is the main reason I use this app and I recommend it to anyone who likes to learn random facts. The next app on the list is a pretty simple but extremely useful utility app. Video to GIF is an app that, well, converts any video to GIF. Just choose a video to start then you have some editing tools. You can select a certain portion of the video to convert to GIF, add a text on top of it, and separate it to different segments. Then press the convert to GIF button and that's it. You can either share the GIF directly from the app or press download and save it to your device. Like I said, pretty simple, but it's better than searching for a random website when you need such utilities. Our next app is also another utility app and it's Wi-Fi Man. Wi-Fi Man is all-in-one tool to test and manage your network. The main functionality of the app is to test your network speed, but also shows every single detail about your network in one single place. Network channel, type, signal strength, and many more. It can also monitor your cellular connection, which is pretty cool. 
You can see the Wi-Fi signal coverage to see if there's any overlap to fix, see every available connection point with their signal strengths, and you can also see every single device that is connected to the same network as your own device. An overall amazing app to manage your networks, and I highly recommend you to give it a try. You know how much I like a nicely designed and beautiful app. Well, meet with Noid. Noid is a nothing OS inspired file manager and it looks amazing. It does everything you would expect from a file manager. Well, okay, maybe not everything. The app lacks a lot of features that I need in a file manager such as file compression. Also, it is hard to distinguish between different types of files and folders since all of them has monochrome icons. However, sometimes a good design is all you need. If you're searching for a simple file manager with a pretty amazing and unique style, then give it a try. Okay, our next app is an extremely cool one. Meet with Find My Bluetooth Device. Yeah, it has a pretty mouthful name. What Find My Bluetooth Device does is to help you locate any device you have connected to your phone by Bluetooth. It basically tracks the Bluetooth signal strength and shows you on a gauge. The closer you are to your device, the better the strength is. You may surprise how well it works and I was quite surprised how this is not a common feature. If you're a person who is prone to losing their devices, this app can come into your clutch. So why not give it a try? So far, in this series, I have never shown you any kind of RSS feed reader. Well, let's meet Your News. Your News is an extremely well-designed and easy-to-use RSS reader. You have different categories and direct integration with social media platforms like Twitter and Reddit. You can also filter your feed based on different tags such as new, rising or hot. You can also choose a certain feed to look only at that. In essence, extremely simple app, but I really like the design of it so that's why I want to put it in this list. Finally, as our last app, I have chosen a KWGT widget pack. Meet with nothing new. Nothing New Widget Pack has a lot of Nothing OS inspired widgets and they're truly extremely well done. I'm using this widget pack always since I installed it and the quality is just better than a lot of widgets out there. One cool feature of this widget pack is that all the widgets support mono theming, so they never look out of place which I always love. The app also includes a lot of Nothing OS wallpapers for you to use as well. The widget pack itself is 89 cents and to be honest it's well worth the money but you also need KWGT Pro so that's something you should be aware of. If you have a KWGT Pro, I highly recommend you to grab this widget pack. And with that we came to the end of this video. But I have a small announcement to make. Recently I became a member of YouTube Partners program and I have also created a membership for you to join. If you want to support me and this channel, please consider becoming a member. I also want to thank my first channel member, Vindia, for your contribution and support. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And as always, take care.